Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's open. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. Oh, I need a ladder to help. Okay, so I need a ladder for the cable one. Have I got a safe? I've got a safe. Yes, I have a safe point. Let's come down here. Um, Like we've seen it, we've seen a room, and we're swimming up a waterfall. Like I know it's a small one, but at the same time. Fix upstairs, and yeah, we get a cutscene playing. My first wish, genie, show me the keyhole. Yeah, so we get to see Jafar. Jafar knows where the keyhole is. Um, so that was the shot this room, although we did need to go into this room anyway. Uh... Oh, okay, go way around. We can follow the track if we so want to, but I mean, but uh, the ball's going to keep rolling in that in that vicinity anyway, so that's not a good spot. Oh, we got a nice little platform down here. Here's the save point. Change our party out. You know what? I'm going to switch out Goofy for Aladdin. Has a little bit of double and Aladdin action. going on. And now we go into the treasure room again. There's a Trinity mark there, which is a nice little spot for that. Although we can't get that one yet. It's a different colour than the one that we should be getting at the moment. So now Aladdin is a little bit like Goofy, he's a little bit more offensive, but he does have some uh, some corrective measures for helping out with uh, things in general. So yeah, so we need uh, Aladdin for these things. Because like the movie, Abu likes big jewels. Uh, we get to see this more in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> As well. 
and this is how we technically could get this one up here from that little area, but we've technically already done that. This uh, power jumping is a thing <laughs> in Kingdom Hearts, so it drops down. down there and wasted our time for basically nothing. Okay, so we do have a safe point in here. As you can see, it's a temporary one. Why not explain the situation to that boy, Riku? Doing so may actually prove useful to our... Wait a second, are you Maleficent? Jafar! Black Jasmine, go! So yeah, Not a chance. <laughs> you see, she's a princess. No shit. One of seven who somehow hold the <laughs> <It's> like, opening. <laughs> it was door. like, yeah, this is a princess. Like, yeah, we kind of established that in oh, the first well, cutscene of the world. But you fools won't live to see what lies beyond it. So now Gee, we have a boss fight. Second in wish. Jafar. Crush them. <gasps> Genie, no. Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. But we get some, a nice little uh, thing, well, we have a reason why we can't escape. <laughs> but yeah, we have a boss fight with Jafar, and it's actually not kind of a, like a nice thing um, with Genie, because uh, you can hear when he's actually going to attack. So yeah, so the Jafar boss fight can be pretty, it can be difficult in some ways. It can be annoying in others because he moves around a lot. So like when 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 G says something like that, oh yeah, get out of the middle. I forgot that was a. I forgot these icicle wind was a thing. And it's basically what it is: icicle wind <laughs> from Pokemon. <laughs> Okay. Ow, and that hurt too. That's a full on laser. <laughs> that almost took like half my health. So yeah, so Jafar can move around a lot. Thunder! Thunder! 
and of course magic actually doesn't do much damage to Jafar either. Mm. But uh, that actually kind of makes sense considering he's a sol uh, he's a sultan and he's actually a magic user. Juggled me, are you kidding? Damn it. It basically juggled me for damage, really. <laughs> but yeah, this boss fight can be difficult. I'd, I'd say out of the next two boss fights, this one is probably the more difficult one. Just because of Jafar, Jafar's mobility and uh, his attacks. At least, like, the mound on the inside. Oh uh, yeah, and I think that's a protected barrier that I think also hurts. Okay, no it isn't. I seriously thought it was, and I uh, got proven wrong again. But yeah, at least like Genie's nice. <laughs> Not like a full screen type uh, attack, thunder it looks like. I thought it had a little bit more range, but it didn't. Because this is actually like the first time I'm really getting to a situation where thunder is not. I thought I put a mega potion. Ah, oh, that's right. Because I died. So that that didn't happen. Yeah, it's like this boss fight is only lasts a while and it's hard because uh, uh, how long it can take because he moves around a lot. I just got a bit hasty there. We'll we'll take that L. That was a little bit hasty. into the treasure room. That way it saves because that's something that really weird about this game is if you continue through a boss fight um, the that items and stuff that you use beforehand actually don't get put on into your inventory when you retry again. But uh, if you go out of a room and then you go back into that room and then place the boss, it will actually save it. I don't know why the game does that. It just does. But yeah, he makes it very obvious when he's attacking with some of his spells. Wow, shield didn't do basically anything. I'm really sorry about this. Ah! Alright, go out there. Oh my god! Got him over to the area. Here! Here! Early on that one. Oh, 
one, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, Jenny. It's just a love tap, mate. It's a love tap. Why have we got money just sitting around here for? We can get like jackpot or something. I'm just wondering how I'm actually gonna test out how much Slipper does. I know it's not going to do a hell of a lot because it's magic, and uh, I'm pretty sure Jabari is neutral to a lot of magic. It just takes normal, normalish damage, if not a little bit less damage in a lot of areas for some magic, but I'm not sure on how much he actually does. Oh, so Genie must be hitting people, and it must be giving money, or he's hitting the ground or something. Ginger! I do like this boss fight theme though, I really like it. Well, the cars doing that. <laughs> Can you just press run? Ginger! Can you stop? I don't know what they're barking at. Uh, I'm missing. Ginger, I'm not deaf! I can hear you! Thank you very much! Dumbass! <laughs> hey! I see you! Stop! So we now have an upgraded Blizzard into Blizzara. Makes sense, I guess. So, yeah, so now we can't really go out of this area, but we can equip more items, thankfully, so that's always a plus. Uh, we'll put in another option. Exchange out for a line. Again, dumbass. Uh, Bucky! Sorry, my dots are being terrible today. They've been really reasonably quiet all day and now it's deciding that they want to bark and stuff. Uh hold on actually. Oh I need my items. I'm not going. Going to cottage. Use store HP, but more importantly the MP is what I really want. Now we gotta say Jasmine. Once we go over to Jasmine, now we got to see what play. Genie! My final wish! I want you to make me an all-powerful genie! <laughs> He's like, good luck! <laughs> Big hole down the middle. It's 
So yeah, so we actually get some expo exposition from, from the ladder. It's like, we gotta take out your path first. Big keyhole, we can steal that now, and uh, we won't have to worry about your park getting it, but, like, okay, down we go. And for some reason there's platforms down here, and a whole bunch of lava. And now we got Jafar as a genie. Oh, the lip flap is not very good. And then we got a lamp. So, we know what to do. So since Jafar is technically a genie now, he's got a lamp that he's going to take, take on. I think we, like, I don't think we can, we can hurt Jafar's genie form by uh, Jafar himself. Although I think we can stop some of his attacks if we can. I'm not 100% sure on that, so I won't want to test that. The thing is, Iago can be a bit of a dick in this boss battle, for sure. Because he can go in and out of uh, barriers all the time. When we're trying to lay the smack down on the lamp. Alright, gonna move. But yeah, this boss fight, like I said, like I said, is the easier of the two. It can get pretty difficult. Like G uh, Jafar, like Genie Jafar, can do lasers and stuff. Although it's not as bad as the Jafar fight itself. Because Jafar, like as the Vizier Mage, is a whole lot more. And I say that, and I get a bowler in the back. Like, attacks like that can really hurt, but that's really about it for boss fights. Like that and the, like, the eye lasers. There isn't really much else, like... Iago doesn't really put up a fight, it just lets you... take the... take the hits on the, uh... on the lamp itself. And I just realized I didn't put those health pickups on, but that's okay. I think we should be right out of it. Uh, Iago, there's lava all over the place. Surprised it didn't hit me. But as you can see, like, the, the different colored uh, health bars. In this game, we have different colored health bars. So basically, in Kim Arts 2, they make it a little bit easier that they have multiple health bars for a lot of things. So like, if they have a big health bar, and they have like three health bars underneath. It's like three big health bars of full size. This game actually color codes a lot of them. And if you read the guide, uh, like the play guide of this game in particular, uh, it will tell you the amounts of HP each different color is. I think it goes up to like a deep, like violet color, which I believe is over uh, at least over 800. I think I think it's 800 plus, maybe 900 plus. I'd have to read my because I I've had the guide since I think my dad got the game or around when the game was first out um, and that's how I learned to play and eventually beat King Hearts 1 but yeah like I will say like there's a lot of areas to this uh, boss fight which, which I mean I love the arena aspect of this thing because it's a nice big area Plenty of areas for you to fight. And some of it does move too. I know it's annoying to see the symbol all the time, but it's the only uh the only summon that I have. 
I'm interested, uh, I'm also interested to see what this does against Jabot. I think it's the jet with the land. It doesn't do that much. Then again, it is a major boss fight. So. I think that one more so is for clearing out Heartless more than anything else. See what I mean? Like, Iago goes outside barriers, and it kind of sucks, because they're like, I'm trying to hit this lamp, and tell the game's telling me, hit the lamp. Just do damage, Jafar. But you can't do that if Iago keeps going out of the barriers and stuff. But hey, at least we got four health, uh, four MP bars. I just noticed that. <laughs> Excuse my dogs again. Platform, platform, thank you. Iago will eventually just get tired and just lay the smack down. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Donald. That actually helps a lot. Arrow, defense, can be kind of good. With especially projectile-based uh, attacks. Not so much the Bulba. Bulba is something entirely. This boss fight can just be pretty, pretty self-standard. It's not particularly too hard, and it's not too taxing on the brain or anything. But it's just, it's just another boss fight. And I mean, you know, for Aladdin it makes sense. It's, uh, that's what happens in the movie. Jafar turns into a genie, and basically. Uh, Aladdin has to outsmart Jafar with him being a genie. Of course, it's the lamp that's the major catalyst for that type of scenario. It's the only problem with this boss fight is the Argo flying back and forth. Yeah, no, you got it. Out of Yago too, and I actually get to take the I completely forgot about that. Okay, Jafar, back to your lamp. We also got an upgraded fire into fire up. And now we get some really important stuff. Ansem's Ansem's report.
Wow. Aladdin's having a crisis over Jasmine. We got a silver tear hole. Transforms into money. Or gold. And then still still shut. That's basically it. Whoa, we better get out of here! Jasmine! And now we have a mini game where we gotta escape outside of the uh, cave of wonders. So I think we can squat away rocks and stuff, although it's not much we can do. Uh, this first sequence is not too difficult, although we did just get hit there. But yeah, it's on an automatic path, like we can move left and right, but it's not really... These episodes are going to be a little bit longer because I did notice the time. And meddling gums up again. Uh, Earth to Al? Hello, you still have one wish left? Look, just say the word. Ask me to find Jasmine for you. I... I wish for your freedom, Genie. Ow! Then we get the revelation <laughs> of some of the plot in this game. In this game's story. Oh, well, this world's story in particular. A deal's a deal, Genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. You're your own master. Hey, you know what? I like Aladdin here because it but could have been selfish. If you can, it'd be great if you could go along with them and but he wasn't. He, he he kept his promise, and mm. I think that's that's something that I do like Sorry, about, about Aladdin. I'm done taking orders from others. You definitely hear Homer Simpson out of that that delivery but, that line. A favor? Now that's entirely different. I guess I could give that a try. After all, we're pals, right, Al? Just leave it to me! <laughs> ah. <laughs> that smarmy vizier could have had him. If someone had stuck around to give him a hand... Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? Jafar was beyond help, consumed by his own hatred. One should beware of letting it burn too fiercely. Whoa, whoa, no. I'm as cool as they come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you? Her? We had a deal, yes. You help us, and we grant you your wish. And now we find out that Kyrie has been found. Kyrie, go to her. Your vessel is waiting. Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. Why are you doing all this for me? What's the catch? Catch? What's the catch? Silly boy. You're like a son to me. 
I only want you to be happy. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. I mean, at least Riku kind of like, <laughs> like, knows in some form or fashion that he's kind of being manipulated a little bit to start with. Although later on, we kind of don't get some resolve to that. And we get Genie as a summon, and the Three Wishes Keyblade, and learning Green Trinity, so we can do that in this world. So yeah, so we gotta go find Jasmine for a ladder. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's it, and um, that's basically it for Agrabah. In terms of story, it, that, that's it. Um, we have a few other things that we need to get. We need to get some treasure chests and some, uh, the Green Trinity Mark, I know, is one that we've already seen. <laughs> um, but we'll save here, because these episodes are going to, these two episodes are going to be long enough as is. Um, especially that start, my god, that start with the, uh, <laughs> with the Cable Wonders Tiger Head. My god. <laughs> 22, like, 20 minutes worth of uh, <laughs> struggles. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching these two episodes of Kin Hearts Final Mix via the Story So Far collection. We completed Agrabah basically, so we're on to the next world basically starting from the next episode, so that's always good to know. Um, so with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching these two episodes. This has been Mario Man 2100. You guys have a great day or night, and of course, take care. <laughs>